Well, the Solheim Cup uh, is completed and the European team is victorious. And a couple of things. We're going to talk about the Lexi situation because I think that's awesome. Good for her. I'm a Lexi fan. And I, I just think she should have handled it a little bit differently. And I want to know your thoughts on that too here. And I'll tell you how I would have handled the situation. And I think the internet is scrubbing everything about her shank chip shot, which is fine. I mean, the, the shot's fine. The scrubbing is not fine. <laughs> Either way, I want to thank AQMS Moving for being a great friend to the channel. I am super, super like picky, sensitive when it comes to moving. My mom, a few years ago, got totally just scammed moving company fly by night she got the cheap deal they took her money we had family members had to show up with u-hauls and move her across the country <laughs> and she lost like seven grand it's horrible so i don't want you to get ripped off friend of the channel friend of me personally aqms moving uh that's affordable quality moving and storage so if you're thinking about moving or you know somebody who is and you don't want to get ripped off these guys will handle everything. And I have a special phone number just for listeners of Mr. Short Game, friends of Mr. Short Game, phone number link in the de uh, description below with phone number just for you so they know you're calling from uh, this channel. So if you know somebody thinking about moving, it's a great way to go. Link below, so check them out. Now back to the Solheim Cup, okay. First and foremost, we've got to say the 14-14 tie situation, not only for Salt, for all match play format things, that's got to go. You don't get a half a point lead just because you won last time. The Kansas City Chiefs, they don't get an extra field goal because they, are, they won the Super Bowl last year, so they start off every game with a three-point lead or if they make it back. Like, you don't get a lead just because you won it last time. No. That doesn't work. What sports, you know, has that? Oh, you are you won last time, so we'll give you a head start. If anything, you should start behind. Like, that's how golf works. You're better, you give me strokes, right? But no, you're better, so you get a head start? No, no. Have it so that there's a winner, a winner. Whoever wins more points in this contest wins. That's it. No tie. Tie goes to the previous champion. No, it doesn't. Ties are horrible. Tie is a tie. We tied. You didn't win. You didn't win. You just didn't lose. That's not the same thing. We've got to eliminate that immediately. The Ryder Cup this year, it better not be a tie because then, you know, it goes to the past champion. No, that's ridiculous. Can we stop that, please? I'm begging you. The last thing, let me just say this. The last thing golf needs is a tie, but the, the last thing in the world women's golf needs is the tie. I mean, it's struggling already. Like, don't get me started. I'm a fan of golf. Men, women, live, not live. I don't care. YouTube, it doesn't matter. I love the game. I don't care who's playing it. I just don't want there to be a tie at the end of the deal. Like, this isn't a YouTube video. This is a real competition, Soul on Cup. It's been around since, what, 91, 1990, 91, whatever. Carson Solheim. I mean, Ping. It's, there's, it's got history now, tradition. There's competitiveness. The level of golf is super high. The stress is incredible. That's what leads it. So, side note, end the tie immediately. Please. This is ridiculous. You all know it's true. You cannot have a tie. Have a playoff. Figure it out. Have some exciting playoff situation. You're smart people running this thing. I, I don't need to give all the answers, but there's plenty of people who have great ideas. You can have a four-on-four, four, three holes. You can have two players. There's a lot of things you can do so it's not a tie. You can have it so... Well, I guess the point, you could have it so there's always an odd number of points, not an even number. Therefore, there would never be a tie, right? You could do that. So don't, no tie. That's all I'm saying. Get rid of that. 
but it does cause an awesome amount of stress. I love it and hate it at the same time because I can relate. I've been in club championships, qualifiers, pressure situation, competitive things. Things happen that never happen, ever, ever to you uh, until you're pressed down under that type of stress and pressure. And unfortunately, poor Lexi, not poor. Hey, the girl can play some golf. One of the world's best women's players. Exciting to watch. One of the faces of the LPGA Tour. And just incredible player champion. Unfortunately, when she gets in these major situations, things look a lot different. And I can relate. Like, weirdest shots happen when you, you do. My ball got stuck in a chain link fence. Half of it was in, half of it was out one time. I'm like, well, at least it wasn't out, right? But I certainly couldn't play it. So I had to take a drop. And it was just, when does my ball get suspended in a chain link fence? I guess the good news is it wasn't out because it was kind of in some bush bushes that were in the chain link fence. But you're like, huh? How did this happen? Things happen. Weird things happen. So she has this chip shot on 18, um, what was it on Friday or Saturday, whatever, during the team play uh, situation, 18th hole. She's chipping onto the green, and she totally shanks it. I mean, shank you very much. This thing, even the announcer called it, oh, the Sherman tank is out. Like, it was a shank. And in the press conference, a reporter Ask a legitimate question. If you listen to it, it's, it sounds fine. He's just like, hey, can you take us through the third shot on 18? What were you thinking? What were you trying to do? Whatever. And Lexi just says, I don't have to talk about that. And he's like, excuse me? Like, he didn't quite pick it up. And she repeats herself. Can you talk about the third shot at 18? Uh, I'm, there was some question on what you were trying to do and what you actually did do um, on the third shot. Could you just go through it for us? I don't need to comment on that. Excuse me? I don't need to comment on the chip. It was a bad lie, and I didn't hit a good chip, but it was pretty much impossible. Okay, good for you. If you don't want to talk about it, don't talk about it. Now, I think she should have talked about it because it's legitimate. It wasn't like he was taking a shot at her, but it was certainly... We know what happened. Like, you didn't have to ask. Like, mm, like you try not to look, but you're looking. We don't need, like, you could, but also you don't want to just go easy on her because she's like a girl. She's a girl, right? Like, you don't want to have that. Like, oh, we're going to take it easy because she's a girl. Like, no, you're a professional. This is professional sports. Let's talk about what happened. So there's that. And I think it was a legitimate question. It didn't appear or sound like there was any, uh, I didn't get the sense that he was trying to attack her in any way, shape, or form. Just, hey, can you walk us through what was going on there? Tell us what you were trying to do. I would I would have liked to know. If they asked me that, they, I would have probably said something like this. I would have said, look, I went for the high-risk shot. And what I was trying to do was there was a clump of grass behind my ball. And so what I was trying to do is hit the ball as close to the heel of the club as possible because on the heel of my wedge where the sole meets the, 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 the club, right? The, uh, that's where the most mass of my club is. So I was trying to strike it as close to the heel as possible to give it a chance to get decent contact, to get through the tuft of grass that was behind the ball and possibly get it close to the hole. It was a very high risk shot and a very low percentage play, but I figured in the situation, given everything that was going on, I figured I had to go for that shot in the moment. So I did, and I got it uh, just a, obviously too close to the hosel, but that was the risk. So that's what I uh, was, you know, that was the gamble. And unfortunately, the, the grass was a little clumpier than I thought, and it pushed the, uh, club out a little bit more as you strike because you got to hit a little behind it to get the grass first and therefore it's kind of pushed the club forward caught the hosel that's what happened now I made half that up but that's what I would have said in the moment right even if you're making it up like you got to go with it 
Like, it sounded good. It sounded legitimate. As a matter of fact, I could convince myself that that was true anyways. Even in the moment when I'm calculating the shot, I could have talked myself into that situation and even believe in myself that that's really what's happening. Even though I don't even really know for sure if the science works out, but I could have talked myself into believing that to be true, even though I was half making it up. But it sounded good, right? Like, yeah, it could be true too, but at the same time, I'm making it up as I go, hoping it's gonna work. That's what I probably would have said in the moment if I'm Lexi and just kind of given that explanation. And everybody would have been totally fine with that. Like, okay, that sounds cool. And then anal analytic guys or other instructor, people, commentators would have said, all right, well, yeah, it makes sense. I guess that's what she was trying to do. Like, uh, man, I don't know if it's the right play or not, but yeah, I get it. She went for it. Good for her. To not answer it, though, is kind of a cop out. It's like, hey, I don't want to answer that. In other words, I'm going to kind of pout. That's kind of what it is. It's like she was pouting a little bit. And I get that, too. You're down and out. Man, that sucks. You hit a horse. You shanked it. You went for it. You shanked it. It hurts. It stings. I don't want to talk about it. I get that, too. I get it. And that's an option as well. Another option would have been laugh it off. Like, can you take us through the shot? Yeah. I was trying to hit it on the green next to the hole, and I shanked it. There you go. You could have said that too and just kind of laughed it off and just leave it there. I think, or you could have said, I think we all saw what happened. Obviously, I wasn't trying to do that. That's a given. You think I was trying to hit the shank? No. You think I wanted it to roll down the hill? No. I was trying to hit it in the hole and I shanked it. Have you ever shanked a shot? There you go. That's what happens. Put yourself in that pressure. Let me see what you come up with. <laughs> you could have went a million different directions. To not answer it, I felt was a cop out. I felt like she was kind of pouting. But again, I'm not I'm not against that. I just think there was a better way to handle it. Now, go try to find that dang clip on the internet. It ain't easy. Like I feel like the internet is scrubbing it for whatever reason. YouTube it like I couldn't find it on YouTube. I couldn't find it on Instagram. I had to go to TikTok. Like that's and I, I found it one time. So it's not easy to find. Maybe there's easier ways, but it's not the easiest clip to find. But so what's going on there? That's what I want to know. Like, why is this being hidden? It's reality. It's what happens. Who cares? It's golf. I've shanked many shots. I shanked one the other day. I was playing, I was playing a skins game, 128 yards, shanked a wedge. And I had like 60 yards left. To, <laughs> like it happens. Who cares? Whatever. Now I'm not under Solheim Cup or Ryder Cup pressure, but you know, I've been under pressure and not shanked it, and I've been under pressure and shanked it. So I don't care if you shank it. That's relatable. We all do that. It happens PGA Tour, Live Tour, LPGA, it don't matter. Just, I think, handling the question better would have been better. But either way, I love the Solheim Cup. It's fun. It's an exciting watch. It, there's just no payoff. Like, okay. Team Europe won. Congratulations. But it was kind of a tie. <laughs> so it wasn't a win. It was a tie. So it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. But um, Lexi, she did say she had a bad lie. The lie, And she kind of called it impossible. Something like that. Unfortunately, it looked like you could see the whole ball. Like the ball is there. It's not like it's buried. There was a clump of grass behind it. And if you look at her shot, she hit like a foot behind the ball. Like she, it was pretty bad. Either way, I would have went with the um, hosel deal thing I said earlier. I can't even probably repeat it because most of it's just fake, fake, fake news. It's made up, but it doesn't matter. I wish she would have handled it a little better. Either way, good for Lexi. I'm a fan. She played pretty good. No complaints. No complaint. No complaints at all. Let me know what your thoughts are. How do you think she handled it? And specifically, what do you think about the dang tie? It's ridiculous. Anyways, get your moving on straight. Everything's below. See you guys next time.